It is a beautiful morning in Oswego. My second day here is beginning. Right now I'm heading for the lake, Lake Ontario. And I'm curious what I can do from there because I have nothing planned. There is a river here, the Oswego River, and I decided I will follow it along its banks to, to the lake. I think this will be nice to find it. I just followed the people with the fishing rods. Yeah, unfortunately, there's construction and the walkway is closed, so I will try to uh, get down to the river a bit further down the river. It'd be sad. It's not possible. It's 14 degrees Celsius and the jacket is way too warm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I see no apparent reason why it is closed, but there are workers there, so... <laughs> okay, I asked the workers and apparently the other side of the bridge should be open. Let's check it out. Crossing the streets here is interesting compared to Germany. You just walk and hope. <laughs> well, actually, most of the time when I see you standing there intending to cross the street, they're gonna let you pass, so they're gonna stop, and which is actually makes it in general more easy. Except for that intersection up there, for instance, that's that was crazy. There's the pier I saw yesterday, and of course today I'm gonna explore it. The water is not nearly as choppy as it was yesterday. There's still some fresh wind coming from the north. The weather is amazing. It's perfect. It definitely feels like you're at the ocean here. Small little fisher town. You have these, <laughs> this massive amount of benches for people to enjoy the view. And these bench dedications, they're really sweet. There are so many squirrels here. Most of the time when I'm hiking, I have a trip planned and I know exactly where I want to go. Right now I don't, I know the general direction. I know that there's something of interest to the west of Oswego. There's also something of interest at the east of Oswego, but today I'm going to take on the west of Oswego. This hiking or walking or whatever, without any plans, gives me this rare sense of freedom that I usually do not get, which is, which is cool. So this is a very relaxing day. I just walk where it looks interesting. I'm going to eat where it looks interesting. <laughs> and for the next couple of days I see what I'll see what else I can do maybe get a bit further out of the city and find some nice park to hike in I have many ideas 
really happy I took this day off to do something cool without any pressure to get from A to B and on time or to to finish a trail before sunset or <laughs> something like that. The past couple of days were so densely packed with new experiences, action and adventure that I really need some time to process everything. It's kind of I'm just recording and recording and <laughs> yeah, I'm just functioning. And I think today it will give me the chance to, to do just that, to um, kind of come down a bit. And still, still discover new things and cool things. I'm walking towards the lake right now. Let's see what we find there. I don't think I can walk around that edge right there. Plus, I don't think I'm supposed to, but uh, I think we can try to get down there. Yep. Yay! very curious to see if I can get around the edge there. So I'm not wearing my hiking boots today, so this is this might be interesting. There's a power plant there, by the way. Let's see how far we get. It's not super slippery. It's just rock face. was an ocean I should not be concerned about tides but since this is a lake one of the five great lakes there are no tides I mean no tides to speak of there are teeny tiny tides but I don't think I run in any danger to not be able to return other than that there's always the way up there <laughs> well no but um, there's actually a path here, so maybe that indicates that I can actually continue walking here. I did bring my hiking boots here, but I didn't wear them today because I was kind of expecting to only walk through the city. Then I changed my mind and I saw, hey, cool. Yeah. Okay, great, fantastic. Do I have a spider on my face? No, I think um, I don't. <laughs> well, next time I will climb over the tree there. It's a way better trip. It's a way better choice, I think. Well, this is no path, so we'll continue a tiny bit. I'm wearing running shoes right now. So these are great for walking long distances, which I, I really enjoy doing. Of course, not meant for this. Yeah, no. I guess I could continue that way. It's not going to be a whole lot of fun. I know that there are more beaches. Um, west that way and maybe I'll find a different access point to them and I don't have to like walk all the way around this edge here maybe that's not, not such a good idea Let me check if I can see anything on Google I'm switching between navigating with Google with Komoot and with all trails so this here is called Flat Rock. Okay, yeah, because of the rocks. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. The mood says that we are about 10 meters away from another beach. Um, okay, I'm, I'm going to try a bit further. So I can go slowly because according to the mood, I would be walking a huge detour around the house block up there just to get 20 meters further in that direction without using these rocks. So 
really doesn't look promising, I must admit. So. Okay, whatever is there, I will not go back here uh, the same way. Okay, I will have to if there's nothing there. I think I made it around the edge and I think those rocks back there indicate that I almost made it to the next beach. That is the beach that is actually called a beach on the map. And there's a staircase and another person. I actually made it. I'm so glad I don't have to get back there. Very nice place here. Now on these flat rocks it's much easier to walk. Lovely. What a magnificent hiking trail that is. I hope this goes for a long distance because it's very fun to walk on. These rocks are not slippery. It's very beautiful. Okay, this this is slippery. <laughs> okay, uh, I promise too much. This is going to be slippery. <laughs> Maybe I can just go here around it. No problem at all. Here as well. There's another staircase back there. So I'll be good at least until then. I have to say, this is way better than walking through sand. I hate walking through sand and this, while not too easy, is way nicer. <laughs> so this beach goes all the way around here, but I'm not sure how far these flat, even rocks will reach. I see people back there. I'm just gonna give it a go. That's of course the one disadvantage of doing things spontaneously. I chose the wrong shoes because who knew this was gonna happen? But it's okay, so it could have been worse. <laughs> the trail here is going to continue another couple of meters, maybe 20 or 30. And then I will leave the beach because beyond that point it's going to be those big round pebbles again that will be uh, not so nice to walk on. Well, this was a fun section. Such a nice thing to discover. I just saw the indication for a beach here and I thought I had to check it out. Okay, so apparently... Oh no, yeah. This is the way up, I guess. small trail leading here very nice I hope I'm not on someone's property here kind of looks that way if so I'm sorry to uh, take a break and get a small snack and all of this with this great scenery here <laughs> well that was really delicious and now I just picked my next destination for my maps plural all I have to do is figure out a way to get there and I'm not sure about if you're allowed to walk on the road if there's no sidewalk in the US, 
have no idea. I should probably Google that. Okay, I Googled that and it seems to be the same like in Germany. So you're allowed to walk on a sidewalk where it's reasonable, like not on a highway or freeway, for instance. Also, of course, always walk on the left side of the road that you're facing traffic and you see what's coming. And do this always. Because in Germany it's perfectly normal to walk on a road where there's no sidewalk. Which is mostly the case in more rural areas. Look at this perfectly shaped tree. I completely underestimated the sun today. It was forecast to be between 16 and maybe 20 degrees Celsius. And now the sun is shining really hot and really bright. I don't think I'm in danger of any sunburn. By the way, it's just, it's 17 degrees. It feels so warm, I'm sweating like hell. Oh, I don't want I don't want to know what it feels like here if it's like 27. This is I mean I did just walk up that hill but I don't know, it's strange. It's too hot. Found the trail, I think. Looks great though. So what you hear in the background is somebody mowing the the lawn. Wherever you go here, every mow every lawn is neatly mowed. It's actually kind of over the top. And before I just follow this trail, I should check if I'm really on the trail. I am. And here, there are so many mosquitoes in here. It's crazy. I feel them stinging me. It hurts. Okay, regardless, I'm looking forward to this. It's a very loud choir of insects here. I like it. So I don't think the chances of meeting a bear here are high. Yeah, it's probably pretty low here, close to the city. Or is it just, how high is that chance actually close to the city? Is it higher or lower? Is it? More interesting here because of trash from humans or... I suppose as long as I talk to you guys, it's not a problem. Um, also, I still hear the lawnmower, so as long as that thing is around. So this is the short little trail that I'm following. of this forest are different. <laughs> wow, this this taste I'm getting used to. The different sounds. Haven't seen any animals yet, but I expect to see more animals here compared to Germany. Also different animals. I've been told to stay away from skunks, despite their cuteness. This will be difficult, but I understand and I will follow that valuable advice because I don't want to take a bath in vinegar to get rid of the stench.
which app are you guys using in the United States for hiking? Is it is it all trails or is it something else? Because in Germany I use Komoot. I'm not sure if it's good here. There's also maps.me. But I have no experience with it. I am only trying to get to know all trails all trails just now because I feel like there are some small paths in there that are not in Komoot but I have not planned any trails yet with all trails just uh, used it to look at where I am and um, what's where this is a pretty nice little loop I just realized I'm not seeing anybody here I haven't met anyone and I don't get the feeling that I will I think I'm completely alone here maybe completely alone in this entire forest except for that guy who's mowing the lawn back there that i can still hear is it possible that he's like mowing the, the trail could that be as soon as i stop walking Mosquitoes are landing on my skin everywhere. So while in general the forest on the surface looks similar or the same like in, in Germany, all the, all the plants that I see are different. There's some that of course also grow in, in Germany, but this one here for instance doesn't. What I've seen blackberries and any other known plants. There are plenty I do not know. There are a couple of, of trees I do know, but they, they don't grow in that abundance in Germany as they do here. It's only when you look closer that you see the difference. But I think it's quite fascinating. Of course, if a trail looks like this, you always have to check if you're still on the right trail. I am. <laughs> and now it already looks better. But I do like the single trails. In Germany, at least, they sometimes have the tendency to just end. That's, of course, not what we want. Yes, this trail has been freshly mowed. Smell the freshly cut grass. <laughs> I'm not alone. <laughs> they very thoroughly marked this trail here. The marking is like on any other tree. So I just passed the other people. Um, I don't think they were hikers, I think they were researchers. Because this area is also being used to do some research, I don't know about what. But, yeah, I think that's what they were doing. I'm the only hiker here right now. <laughs> so the only animal I have seen so far was a snake. And I have seen footprints from a deer. That's it so far. Also, that's it for the trail. This is a loop trail. And I'll be reaching the trailhead again in a couple of minutes. Let me check i think it's this way yes instinct correct more often than not actually but the 10 percent that i'm wrong are the disastrous ones so my first ever hike in a forest in north america is almost over but it will probably not be the last one so this was great and now I have like an hour walk back to Oswego. I'm gonna see if I can maybe get a soda somewhere or cake or something. Something unhealthy maybe. So I don't know what kind of tree this is. 
The leaves really have a peculiar shape. Cool. Let me know if you know what this is. What a beautiful old house. All right, I got my soda and I also bought a couple of apples. I kind of feel like eating apples. And I, I paid in cash because I have somehow to find a way to get rid of the cash that I brought. Somehow I, I pay most of what I purchased with, with credit card. Um, and uh, uh, the guy at the grocery store, he, he was surprised when I handed him uh, dollar coins, apparently that's rare. He said he's never seen this before, but he knows they're worth a dollar. <laughs> Seriously, was he messing with me? He seems sincere. I just decided I'll call this a day. And I think I've done enough exploring today. I, th I think it's now 4.30 p.m. And I'm gonna rest a bit, drink my soda and eat my apples and uh, I don't know, have a relaxed evening. Yeah, I think that's, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. A bit of exploring, a bit random here and there. Um, roughly, yeah, it was all of it. It was in, in Western Oswego and West of Oswego. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time.